If you are tired of a cluttered mess of a wardrobe filled with clothes, shoes, bags that you'll never wear, then this video is for you. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diaphne. If you're new here, welcome. Today's video is an exciting one. I'm going to share with you an ultimate guide to building an elevated capsule wardrobe. As someone who is currently on a journey to transforming my personal style, I have some tips and tricks that will serve you well if you are also on the journey or even if you are a fashion enthusiast. You will find this guide to be a key to just understanding why we need a capsule wardrobe, how to even start building a capsule wardrobe, what's needed in a capsule wardrobe. So let's dive into it. I don't want it to be too buttoned up, you know, but I want to make sure that you're understanding, you take away from this, just easier ways for you to dress every day, where you feel confident, you feel elegant, you feel well put together. I feel like nowadays, style is almost copy paste we see something that this person wears that we like we copy and paste without really editing it without really making sure that it fits our body type i'm going to dive deep into the art of curating your own capsule wardrobe so we're going to talk about what you like you know what's your style what makes you feel confident so that we can take that elevate that and that's how you get your capsule wardrobe so for me, I find this topic very interesting because I am someone who always pride myself in getting timeless pieces. I like to pair things in my wardrobe that just match each other. But lately, I find that I have nothing to wear. My wardrobe is cluttered. I have a lot of things that I don't like. I don't feel confident and some things don't fit. So I took that opportunity to also help you out in your quest of discovering your personal style and building your capsule wardrobe. The most practical tip I can give here is to make sure you assess your personal style, figure out what you like, what you really like, like what you like, who are you, what's your style, what you like, and also figure out timeless silhouettes and timeless pieces that match that. The second tip I can give is to make sure you can master color coordination. For me, my color coordination is very easy because I'm always neutral. But if you are someone who likes more bold color, so figure out how to coordinate the color to make sure that it's not too loud, it's not clashing, but yet you still look put together and, you know, elegant. My goal is to make sure my wardrobe can with stain the test of time even if i have some trends i want to make sure that the trends are things that can last long they're not just one hit you know one hit off there are trendy pieces that still i can wear even if they're no longer trendy that's how i pick what trendy piece i'm going to wear and also just to embrace your style and just love what you wear and be happy in it if you wear something and you feel like it's not you and you don't feel com comfortable in it you don't feel confident in it it does show to the outside so even if you look put together per se based on what you're wearing if you're not confident and you're not comfortable in it it's going to show on the outside so let's figure how to not let that happen okay so here we are the first thing we're gonna do is just to simplify everything for me i am a simple girl so simple to the point where i can be plain jane okay i am simple and the reason why i am so simple i feel like less is more i always feel like when i have less everything my beauty radiates a little more i feel more confident i feel happier i feel lighter so the number one thing we're gonna do is declutter we're gonna declutter our closets we're gonna go through every single piece of garment in that closet we're gonna make sure it fits we're gonna make sure it reflects who we are right now we're gonna make sure that it represents who we are and who we want to be. On this channel, I want to empower you to feel your best self, your higher self, confident, elegant, happy. Through fashion, we can start by decluttering, decluttering our closets, removing things that you haven't worn in years, shoes that you're holding on to, pieces that have this sentimental value that you feel like you have to hold on to. Just get rid of those because I feel like what that do is you look at your closet and you feel like you have clothes even when you really don't. This happens to me so, so, so much. I finally learned my lesson. I am just getting rid of everything that doesn't fit, everything that 
I no longer love because as we evolve, our style also changes. We have to make sure that whatever we have in our closet reflects who we are today. Okay. So let's start with what a capsule wardrobe is. A capsule wardrobe is essentially, um, I would say, like a mix of high and low, depending on you know what you like. Timeless, versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched together. Whatever top you have can be mixed with all of your bottoms and vice versa. So basically you have a curated amount of things that you have in your closet that you know will work for you for whatever occasion. That's what a capsule wardrobe is for me and also prioritizing quality over quantity. Um, fast fashion. I feel like fast fashion give us this thing where we can just buy a lot of stuff that we don't really love, things that we don't even like, things that we don't even wear, things that we wouldn't spend a lot of money on. So I feel like that's one way to really find a way for you to purchase things. Just look at it. Would I pay X amount of money for this? You know what I mean? Is this something that I can wear with jeans, skirt, trousers, whatever? Is this something that I can wear to work, church, and out to brunch? So I feel like that's a way to just stop us from buying so many things that we probably won't wear. If you wanna try trends, that's fine. I feel like fast fashion is the best way to go because you don't wanna go spend a lot of money on something that you're probably gonna wear once or twice or maybe you're not even gonna like but i think for our actual wardrobe the foundation of our wardrobe we need to be mindful of what is it that we're buying of course i'm not saying to not buy fast fashion because i feel like sometimes fast fashion is how we can afford certain things that we want to get because let's be real they have some good quality if you know how to look for things if you know how to shop if you know what material to look for so it's not always oh don't buy fast fashion it's just how you're buying it like i said quality over quantity so i would say invest in timeless pieces so for me timeless pieces will always look like something like this shirt that i have on i can wear it today i can wear it in 10 years i can wear it in 50 years i can wear this to church i can wear it to work i can wear it to brunch i can also wear it to go down the grocery store this is a versatile piece so i feel like a button down is definitely one of those items that you want to have in your wardrobe again depending on your style some people don't like button up button down some people are t-shirts people so if you are a t-shirt person if you're a t-shirt and jeans person make sure you buy good quality t-shirts that look like they are made of great fabric you know what i mean of elevated luxury fabric something that look like you know almost like it just came from the dry cleaning you know what i mean i i will do a video highlighting maybe top five best t-shirts for women that you can wear to the point where it looks so elevated people don't even think like oh she's wearing a t-shirt that's not the idea that comes to mind because you look so elevated wearing it so i feel like you can no matter your style capsule wardrobe works for everyone if you're a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl just get elevated t-shirts don't get t-shirts that look faded don't get t-shirts that look like they're ripped everywhere crazy designs very loud and i feel like you can elevate t-shirts elevated jeans whatever your style is you get the elevated version of that boom that's tip number two. So tip number three, I would say to think of classic silhouettes. You can't go wrong with classics because that is something that you can make a foundation of and you can always just add on top of that, right? So I think of classic silhouettes, like I was mentioning in my 2024 spring fashion trends, a tailored blazer. You can never go wrong with a tailored blazer. You can wear like a button up, like I'm wearing now, some jeans and you throw a blazer on there, automatic, elevation to a thousand so you need those pieces to where you can probably just come from grocery shopping and somebody call you be like hey you know we have an event to whatever 6 p.m you don't have time to change you throw a blazer on baby you're ready and some heels you're ready so you need pieces that are very versatile to the point where you can just 
boom switch on and off just like that so i would say think of blazers think of trousers think of things that just make an outfit very timeless so i'm thinking loafers blazers trousers just a nice sweater now again it depends on your style what i'm saying just take it and make it your own if you're not someone who wear blazers if you like cardigan you can do it with a cardigan you get what i'm saying so i think it's all about the silhouettes and the classic pieces the colors that we're choosing for sure i'm a neutral girl to the max i've been a neutral girl since i can remember i remember being younger and my parents used to tell me you're so young why won't you wear color i was always a cream navy blue like i was already a very i was always a very um somber color kind of girl that's just what makes me feel comfortable that what that's what makes me feel happy that's when i feel confident as well when i wear a bold i can wear a bold color sometimes i'm in a mood for a bold color so i do have you know a bold color here or there and sometimes i'll be like okay i want to wear a bold color but i have my neutral foundation and i can mix and match with the bold color so tip number i don't know what number but this tip is if you are someone who wants to wear more bold colors but you are afraid or you're not comfortable i would say make sure your foundation is correct so by foundation i mean you have your classics trousers jeans um button down things like that and then you can sprinkle the pop of colors on top do not go and buy a wardrobe full of colors yellow red pink and things like that where if you want to dress every day and if you're not in the mood to wear a, a pop of color then you have nothing to wear so it's better to have a foundation of neutral colors and then you start sprinkling other bold colors on top of that so i think for a capsule wardrobe you have to make sure you have your essentials first before you start splurging on bright colors unless you are a bright color person like all you wear is bright colors then the bright colors would be your essentials i hope i'm making sense and then the other tip i would say is to make sure that your items fit you nicely so tailoring is key if you need a little tailor here a little tailoring there that's fine but don't just go buy something in hopes of just tailoring it to change it completely because that's what i would do i would buy something and i'm like oh yeah i'll just tailor it um sometimes it just is not gonna work buy something that i know does not fit my body this is this does not go this is not a silhouette that would go with my body type i would still buy it in hopes that i'm going to tailor here tailor there and make it fit and then i waste my money because it doesn't matter how many times i tailor it i still ended up just not liking it whatever you're gonna buy to replace so for example you already declutter you remove things that no longer fit you remove things that you don't want to wear now you're probably gonna buy some things to replace the gaps to fill in the gaps that you have in your wardrobe now i would say if you're in the store now we do a lot of online shopping but i'm really 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 gonna get back into the habit of going to the mall and looking for stuff because you can try it on and see if you're trying it on and right then and there and you don't fall in love with it return it return it because what happens is i buy something and i don't fall in love with it i'm not in love i keep it and then i never wear it guess what now it's being decluttered i'm getting rid of it and i've never worn it if you're trying something on and you're not over the moon happy just loving it like oh my god look at me booty look good mm -mm -mm, do not get it or if you buy something online and it comes and you're not feeling yourself in it it doesn't matter because sometimes we're like we need the hair and makeup to be done for us to see the full effect no if you have it on with with a bonnet on hair makeup and you're not feeling it just it being on your body you probably should return it because most likely you're probably not gonna wear it often or you may be just gonna wear it once and this is a capsule wardrobe so we want things that we were excited about that we're gonna wear all of the time now for accessories i feel like accessories play a great part in how your clothes look i am a very minimal accessory kind of girl but i do love a pop of something extra here or there especially with earrings earrings are my thing i love 
bold earrings i love i love bold understated earrings so basically you will see my earrings it's like oh whatever whatever but it's still giving a pop it's still a little bold you know what i'm saying that's what i love some people like chunky bracelets and stuff like that those work as well because there are accessories that you can layer on top of whatever you're wearing also layering layering is a great 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 tip okay so jean jackets coats uh, cardigan things like that you pick what you love to layer with and you make sure you have a great variety of those just to make sure they go with everything that you have in your wardrobe i think like that you will curate a very nice timeless elegant capsule wardrobe also for shoes you have to make sure you have a variety of shoes i'm not gonna touch all of that right now but just know it falls under accessories just make sure you have your basics before you go and buy some crazy bedazzle shoes that you want be able to wear every day if you are someone who has like a lot of everyday shoes and everyday of course you can go ahead and buy your bedazzle thing your more pop of color statement shoes but i feel like if you are building a wardrobe you should have shoes that you feel like you can wear every day you want to have pieces that you feel like if i had to wear this every day i would have no problem and it wouldn't be so obvious to someone be like oh my god she wear the same shirt every day because it's just a white t-shirt how do you know it's the same shirt every day that is the idea and i just hope that this guide although it was all over the place i just hope that it does help you come up with some tips and tricks on what to look for how to curate your capsule wardrobe what to do how to really zone into your personal style i feel like that is number one before decluttering that is number one zoning into your personal style so do you like this do you like that while decluttering you will also discover your personal style because you will see things that oh my god i've had this and i've never worn it why is that you don't gravitate towards it because that's not that's not your thing you don't like it you know what i mean so i think that's a great tool and that's a great way to tell to start finding your personal style is through the decluttering finding things that you've had for years in there that you haven't been wearing so find your personal style well declutter and find your find your personal style make sure you add timeless pieces when you are filling in those gaps focus on the timeless silhouettes make sure our clothes fit so tailoring and also accessorize and happy shopping for our capsule wardrobe so yeah even more importantly happy peace of mind happy peace of mind when we're getting dressed i feel like the whole purpose of a capsule wardrobe is to make sure getting dressed is a lot easier, it's a lot fun, it's a lot, you know, more confidence driven, it's a lot more higher self, you know, vibes, you know, like you just love getting dressed you love your things you love your clothes i want to thank you so much for watching my loves thank you for hanging out with me if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and also subscribe to the channel join the family i would love 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 to have you i want to thank you for hanging out with me and i will see you in my next video bye